Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Madrid Ball. I hope you all are safe and sound. The rain was pelting down in Madrid, dense clouds were covering the Spanish capital, but the stars of Real Madrid were aligned in the right place as we managed to get consecutive victories on the trot, and that second half especially I thought was much better from Real Madrid. We saw an improvement in the game, we got glimpses of the potential of our academy products, and I was particularly happy for one legend, Marcelo Vieira, whom I thought was one of the best performers of the night. He looked rejuvenated but most importantly we have to give massive credit to Zidane for what he did yesterday. The way he adapted to adversity is commendable. We had a thin squad but he was clever as a fox and he absolutely outclassed Bordelas. In this video we will do the post-match analysis of Real Madrid versus Getafe. We will break down the performance of our players so let's get started. First let's have a quick look at our lineup. We had Coutinho at goal, then we had Nacho, Varane and Mindy as the three centre-backs. In the midfield we had Marcelo, Casemiro, Modric and Marcelo. Marvin Park, and in attack we had Benzema, Asensio and Vinicius. Before doing the analysis, let's quickly do the shoutouts. Playboy Prince and Mustafa predicted 2-0 in favour of Madrid, and I congratulate the both of you for the correct predictions. Moving on, we have to talk more about the lineup because this was a very bold move by Zinedine Zidane. He has been under pressure, and most of us were surprised that Zidane tried something new. He tried something fresh, and that is what I think caught the opposition off guard as well. Zidane so easily could have played it safe. He so easily could have used Mendy at right back. Marcelo at left back and then he could have slotted Isco in the team as well but Zidane tried something new. He placed his faith in the youngster Marvin Park and when I saw this lineup I was genuinely excited about how things were going to unfold in the match. We had the 3-4-3 formation, we saw Marcelo and Marvin Park as the wing backs. With the ball we maintained that formation but without the ball we set up with five at the back. Marcelo and Marvin used to join the back line as you can see in this picture and even in the second half towards the end of the game Vinicius had joined the back line to form the back five and do the defense work. This setup completely worked in favour of Madrid because when Getafe had the ball they found it very tough to get any shot away and when we had the ball we had the 3-4-3 formation which meant that there was an extra body in the midfield and that is why we dominated in the middle of the park. Marcelo's presence in the midfield was time and again providing an extra passing option and hence we saw we were quite comfortable knocking the ball around. Now if we talk about the first half I won't say everything was rosy here as well. We did have the ball and Getafe had zero shots on goal but we were lacking the cutting edge in our game. I think most of us were trying to figure out who was going to occupy which spaces and so were the players taking a little time to come to grips with the formation and the movement of the teammates. I distinctly remember there was an instance in the first half where Modric tried a lofted pass from the outside of his foot but there was no Real Madrid player getting even close to the ball and the ball went straight to the Getafe man. So I would say in the first half we did a bit of warm up and then in the second half we really put in the dagger. Especially after the substitution in the 55th minute, Marvin was taken off, Arribas came on in his place and there were many more tactical tweaks that were made to the team. We saw Vinicius shifted to the right where I thought he looked very comfortable and Arribas was put on the left but I also noticed he was not playing as an out and out winger but rather he was occupying the spaces in such a way that even Marcelo could make those forward runs and give more width to the team as we saw in the build up of the Mendy goal. The move which led to the goal completely left Getafe baffled. Mendy on the night was playing left centre back and largely we saw that he was sticking to his position. He was resisting the urge to go forward because Marcelo was taking care of the offensive work ahead of him but in this move he decided to continue his forward run. He passes to Arribas, Arribas then passes the ball to Marcelo in acres of space and naturally you would expect Marcelo to put in a beautiful ball from there but we weren't expecting Mendy to be at the end of that cross. Neither were any of the Getafe players able to comprehend with it. They were completely bamboozled with the run of Mendy. He was left completely unmarked in the penalty box and he easily turned the ball into the back of the net. The element of surprise was very effectively used by Real Madrid to get that second goal. And we were talking about this in the previous post-match analysis, how we could use Marcelo and Mendy together. We were talking about how we could use the defensive skills of Mendy and the offensive skills of Marcelo on the left. Many of you had also shared your thoughts in the comments as well and I thought they played very effectively as a duo. Marcelo was liberated from his defensive responsibilities and was playing with much more freedom. He was making some good contribution going forward and Mendy was solid as a rock. This is exactly where the role of Zidane comes in. He found a system in which he harnessed the qualities of both the players and he made sure they did the things that they were most comfortable doing. Definitely those two were the top performers. The youngsters Marvin Park and Arribas both played well. Marvin was looking very energetic. He maintained good awareness about his position. He understood his role in the side and from time to time he was taking care of his defensive responsibilities as well as you can see in this picture. He had even delivered a threatening cross in the first half. Arribas as well put in a good display. He looked very comfortable playing with the veterans alongside him. He was making some good movement and I thought both the players brought a new dynamic to the side. It was like a 
a breath of fresh air. They have the potential and let's see if Zidane uses them when the injured players return. As for Vinicius, he too looked confident in the game. He was making some good runs and we usually get that from him. But this time he put in a sublime cross for Benzema. It was so good, I almost couldn't believe it was Vinicius who had put in the ball from the right. I think this is the best cross Vinicius has ever put in his Real Madrid career. He has received constant criticism for that aspect of his game but it's good to see him making improvement. That is what a Real Madrid winger is expected to do and that cross will be a big boost for his confidence. Benzema got at the end of that cross. He also did good with a work to get in front of the defender and he was clinical with his header. At the end of the game Zidane also said that the plan was to take Vinicius off in the second half but Marvin picked up a knock which changed his plans and Vinicius with Lady Luck on his side managed to turn the tide. So overall it was a good display. We got the three points. We showed improvement and little by little we see the team is on the upward trajectory and that is what we need right now. These games are absolutely crucial to build momentum ahead of the Atalanta clash and we need to win all of these games to ensure we go into the clash with the best possible mindset. Now let's hear what Zidane had to say in his post-match press conference. Reflecting on the victory and the system used in the game Zidane said we used the system tonight to adapt to the situation given that we've got a lot of players out. We managed the game very well without having worked on it that much. I'm pleased for the players because they perform really well defensively. Our attitude was exemplary out there. Zidane was also asked about Isco. He was questioned why Isco's involvement in the game was limited. Zidane replied, Isco had only trained with the team once before his own injury. That was the only reason. Finally, he was asked about the title race as a whole to which Zidane replied, Our fans always think that we can change things in the title race. It'll be difficult, but we'll carry on. We are just thinking about what we can do. There are 48 points left in play and we are just thinking about our games and we need to continue with our work. We can't think about the other title challenges. These two wins in a row are very good. Now we need to keep this up. And that is what the coach had to say and that is all I have in this post-match analysis. Now it's your time to let me know what you thought about the performance yesterday. Which player impressed you the most? Write in the comments below. I will see you soon. Till then, take care. Glory to Madrid. And as always, a la Madrid.